This is a Hike Vision L15 Lynx Thermal Monocular, and this is an unbiased, unsponsored, unpaid for review of the Lynx L15 Thermal Monocular. I don't even get to keep the review sample. I've got to give this back to North Wales Field Sports on Tuesday. I found some stats that quote a detection range of 1.3 kilometers for vehicles and 400 meters for humans. Now note that that is the detection range where it will pick up the infrared, not the identification range where you can positively identify, or at least with some certainty, what it is that you're looking at. That identification range is substantially shorter at 170 meters for vehicles and 50 meters for humans. So that is a hell of a drop in range, but it is important for a user to understand the difference between, ah uh, yes, I'm looking at a white blob in the field and that's two adult males moving left to right along the tree line. You press and hold this button here at the front to make the device turn on and although you will get an image within the first five seconds it will take well at least 10 seconds for the device to fully power up and function properly. There's also a smartphone app so you can tether your thermal to your phone and then use your phone as a live view monitor and record directly to your phone and share those images and the video to TikTok, Insta, Whatsagram and I'd love to show you how that works except it doesn't talk to my phone, it doesn't connect. And I've tried as many solutions as I can think of and it still won't work. So I don't know what else to do with that. And I know it does work with other phones and I know that it talks happily to Yuan from North Wales Field Sports iPhone and other phones and some Samsung phones, but yeah, it doesn't work with my phone and I have no idea why. And now for the field test for which we've come out to a field, obviously. I've got a PARD 007 digital night vision device on one tripod there, and right next to it, I've got the Lynx L15 thermal monocular. Both of these are recording, and with both of them, I'm gonna go 100 meters away that way, I'm going to lie prone, then I'm gonna to come to a kneeling position, and then a standing position. And then I'm gonna repeat that at 50 meters away, and finally at 10 meters away. So this is to show the difference in some of the clarity, some of the, some of the features that you can see, and well, just give you an idea of what it's like in a, a real world setting. I'm wearing fairly heavy outer layers here, but I'm going to leave my hands and my face uncovered so you get the thermal signature there. Just an example on usable detection, there's a bird up in this tree which I'm about to spook as I walk past.
For just under a thousand pounds, this is an expensive toy, but for a thermal imager, that's actually not that much money. And there are other models in the Hike Vision range, some that cost more, some that have better performance and clarity, but well, you do get what you pay for. It's solidly built enough, it's rainproof enough. I like the fact that I can hold it up to my eye like that and I don't have to worry about screen glare even on the brightest of days. I like the fact that it's compact enough to fit in my upper jacket pocket like that. It's not something I would have to really consider, ooh, should I take that with me tonight or not? Because, well, it weighs less and it's smaller than most mobile phones. I don't like the slightly fiddly menu, but that's always going to be the case when you've only got four buttons to play with. And I wish that it kind of woke up a little bit sooner when you turned it on, but I can learn to live with that. If I was going to spend this much money, I would be tempted to look very, very closely at the next level up and have a look at the OWL range of products from Hike Vision. And if for some reason I needed a thermal imager, but I was on well, less of a budget, then I would look at the Lynx LC06, which doesn't have quite the same performance, doesn't quite have the same clarity, but will get the job done for a lot of people. And that's about it. It's a, well, fairly compact, rugged enough, thermal imager that costs less than a thousand pounds. There are more expensive models out there. There are fancier models out there. There are cheaper models out there. It sits in that lower middle end of the consumer market. And if somebody gifted this to me, I'd be quite happy with it. If I had a thousand pounds to spend on a thermal imager, I'd be quite happy with it. But well, it's up to you to decide whether it's right for you and your life. I must say that I've only used it for about a week or so and I do have to give this one back so I can't tell you what it's like to live with after six months after a year or however long we normally have things for a review. So with that in mind please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share it with other people, leave a comment below if you have any questions. That's about it for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.